you are welcome to my channel so we are still continuing with topic four which is accounting for overheads so in this video we are going to be looking at the computation of absorption rates absorption rates these are some of the rates that are used to charge the overhead costs to the cost units so we have the following methods that we use when we are computing for absorption rates we have the one for direct labor hours which is uh, budgeted overheads out of or divided by budgeted direct labor hours then we get the rate then for direct machine hours we get the budgeted overheads we divide by the budgeted machine hours then we get the rate then for units or for output we get the budgeted overheads out of budgeted output then we get the absorption rate so that is how we compute for the absorption rates and we should note that the choice of the basis or the method depends on the cost drivers cost drivers refers to those factors that affect the cost of the activity the factors that affect the cost of the of the activity things like poor quality and all that so one which is capital intensive uses machine hours capital intensive it means that they use more of machines well as one which is labor intensive uses labor hours meaning they have more human capital than the machines yeah, so the basis depends on the cost drivers yeah, so those are the formulas that we use when computing for overhead absorption rates then we are going to have an example an example in computation of overhead absorption rates so we have two production departments x and y and they have the following budgeted cost data we have x and y budgeted overheads we have 1000 and then 8000 then uh, budgeted labor hours 500 100 budgeted machine hours 200 then 200 then during the period the following occurred the whole overhead for so x and y then we labor hours nine thousand like this is what occurred then this is what was budgeted yeah it's not a must that the budget is supposed to match the actual ones they are always different actually so this is what occurred this is what was budgeted so labor hours we have nine thousand sorry for overheads we have 9000 then 8000 then for labor hours we have 480 x was using labor hours then for machine hours for y which is 190 so that is what we have then required compute the overhead absorption rate by each department based on the available data then determine the cost recovered or absorbed in each department then uh, we should determine the over and then under recovery of overheads in each department and then in total yes yeah, so we are going to start with the first one which is computation of the overhead absorption rates So we are going to start with labor hours for X. We are on part A, which is uh, overhead absorption rates and uh, the formula that we have for direct labor hours is budgeted overheads divided by budgeted direct labor hours so you 
divide by the budgeted units. Let's say the budgeted units. Kubanga, it's going to cut across. So for x, so x we have uh, budgeted overheads divided by the budgeted direct labor hours. So here is the question. These are the budgeted overheads. These are the budgeted labor hours. So it will be 10,000 divided by 100. Sorry, 10,000 divided by 500. Like that. So 10,000 divided by 500. 20. So the rate is 20. It is 20 labor hours in. The rate is 20 per labor hour. That is the rate. Then for one, also having labor hours here in the budget. So it will be this divided by this. So 8,000 divided by 100. This will cut with that. So it will be 80 per labor hour. Yeah, so every hour that one works, they are paid 80 shillings, let's say. Yeah, then for machine hours, these were labor hours. Then machine hours. We have for X. The here budgeted machine hours 200 and then 200. So for x it will be 10,000 divided by 200. So 10,000 divided by 200. machine hour then for y for y it's going to be 8000 divided by 200 so 8000 divided by 200 So those are the overhead absorption rates by each department based on the available data. Yeah, these are for X, these are these are for Y, those are the overhead absorption rates. So we are supposed to calculate for determine the cost recovered or absorbed in each department. So we are supposed to calculate for the actual actual overheads absorbed because these were the budgeted ones. These were the ones that were on budget. So B we have to calculate for the actual overheads absorbed. actual overheads absorbed so for x here x was just using machine hours only because it doesn't have like y doesn't have labor hours so x was just using labor hours and then y was using machine hours so x had Labor hours of 480. So the actual ones 
are going to be 480 hours then what was the paper hour when it came to labor hours it was 20 for x so times 20 480 times 20 it is 9600 like that then for y the actual ones were in terms of machine hours which is 190 so 190 times the machine hours for y which is 40 so times 40 so 9 sorry 190 times 40 it is 7600 like that then determine the over and under recovery of overheads in each department and then in total so we we have to compare the actual and then what was budgeted and then we determine whether there was an under recovery or over recovery so for x and then y and then the total So for x, like what was incurred is this. These are the actual ones. So actual 9,600. 